But if you close your eyes Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a 1.8 Minecraft server. So this will be spigot slash bucket, and I say slash bucket because with spigot server, you can still use craft bucket plugins on it, and it'll still work perfectly fine. With this 1.8 spigot server, you can allow your players who have 1.8 version of Minecraft to join. And not only can the 1.8 users join, but the people who have 1.7 still can join your 1.8 server. So both of them can join, and you can have more people because there's two versions of people joining. Now with this 1.8 version, it's not like a legit 1.8, but it's just patched so that your 1.8 users who have 1.8 version of Minecraft can join it. So it's not much change from the old version, but we're going to go ahead and get started with this tutorial. So click the first link in the description to come to the Spigot website. This isn't the actual Spigot website with the official downloads, but it has the downloads that we need because on the official website, if you try clicking on the download button, then it won't actually download because I guess it has to do with the legal issues. But here we can just click on Spigot 1649. So make sure you click on that and that will download the dot jar that we need to create our server. So make sure you click on the first link and that will be the 1.8 version. So while it's downloading you might want to create a folder that you're going to have for your Minecraft server. I just created this folder and I called it Spigot Server. So you can just do that. Alright, so once your dot jar is done downloading, just drag it in your folder that you created. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it, hit rename, and we're just going to name it something easier for us. So we're just going to call it Spigot. Alright, so now that we have that, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to open Notepad. So just open up Notepad and then paste the code that is in the description. The dot bat code, that's what you want to paste in. Paste in here, so start with Java and then end with this I don't even know what that is but once you have it in there the next thing that you want to do is you want to change this to our jar file name that's why we renamed it spigot so it's easier to type so we can just replace this for what we named it in our folder so spigot or whatever you changed it to so once you're done with that now just hit file save as find the folder that we created or you called it I called mine spigot server so that's this folder right here. So now we can name it something like start.bat, but make sure that you have .bat at the end. You can change start to like run or launch or whatever you want, but .bat, you want to have that. So the next thing is save as type. Make sure you click on all files, hit save, and then we can close this. So now we have this, you just want to double click on the start and that will generate a couple files that we'll need to change. So just wait the 10 seconds and it will load up what it needs. Alright so you might continuously see new things pop up but just wait until it closes out by itself. You don't want to close out of it yet. But now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the EULA document thing and change false to true. Once you have it to true, just hit save and we can start this up one more time. Now I'll actually generate like the plugins folders and the worlds and stuff like that. So we're just going to let that load. Alright, now we should see that it's done. So we have a server now. We can pretty much install any plugins that we want. And here are the world folders. You can change the server properties to whatever you want. So if you right click on it, hit out with notepad or notepad++. That's what I'm using right now. You change all the settings for your server. So there's that. Now to prove that this works with Craft Bucket plugins, I'm going to first stop my server. So just type stop if you want to ever stop your server. And I'm going to get the plugins from my actual Craft Bucket server. So you can see Craft Bucket. I'm going to copy all of these Craft Bucket plugins. So you can see I have World Edit, World Guard Essentials permissions stuff like that you might not know what some of those plugins are but if you do then you'll see that I'll be using them once I go on my server so I'm just gonna paste them in here into my spigot server plugins folder because these are craft bucket plugins I'm just trying to show you that these plugins work so now I'm gonna start my server and head on to it using minecraft 1.8 and then I'll also be showing you that it works with 1.72 
all right so as you can see I'm running minecraft 1.8 I'm gonna join my server using the address localhost because when we run servers on our computer we can just type that in hit join server and yep I'm in it this is running on a 1.8 server using minecraft 1.8 I'm going to pause the video real quick and show you that it works on 1.72. Before I change to 1.7, I'm going to show you guys that the plugins work. So, a normal essentials command allows me to change the time to day or night. So, I'm going to type slash time night and it will change the night. So, essentials does work on this 1.8 server. It might not be updated, of course, because Craftbug is down at the moment. Hopefully, they get back up. But, yeah, the plugins work and the server works fine all right so now you can see that I'm running version 1.7.9 and you can actually go a little bit lower I'm pretty sure 1.7.4 actually works also I'm using 1.7.9 I don't like to go too low I'm gonna join the server and it works also this is the same spigot 1.8 server hopefully you guys have this working fine and if you want your friends to connect you're gonna have to port forward your router now, there's so many videos teaching people how to port forward the router, even specific videos for their specific router, and they'll teach you how to port forward for Minecraft. So you can do that, and your friends can connect to you. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and peace out for more tutorials. I make tutorials all the time for plugin videos. And if you don't know what to do next for your server, if you're just starting out, make sure to click the playlist down below. It will teach you what to do next, how to install plugins, how to use permissions plugins, how to do this and that. So that's a good playlist for anyone just starting out. You might want to click that and check out those videos. All right, peace out, guys.